Beautiful humans, you came back for three shots and three stories, and for that, I thank you. I even had to write down the stories just in case I get intoxicated with what I'm gonna be drinking today, because honestly, what I am drinking is not my favorite, but I figured I have it in my cabinet, might as well drink it, and let me just write it down so that I can tell you guys what we're talking about. Today, we are going to be talking about the time that I use hand sanitizer to wipe my ass, pretty much. That's what happened. I used it for the wrong reason, and then there was a side effect, and and you'll learn about that momentarily. Um, where was I when Corona started? Uh, honestly, it's a very interesting story because I was not in this country and it was a freaking mess. So we'll go into that one. And then number three is how I almost shit my pants in public. <laughs> That's one of my favorites to tell. So let's not waste any more time. Let's cue the intro and begin. So the sun is going down, so today's video, hopefully I can get through it before the sun goes down, but we're gonna do this quickly, and we're gonna get through the stories with enough information so that you can understand what was going on, but just so that I don't bore you to death, okay? So we're starting off with Sverka Blue Raspberry. Ugh, I know, you guys are riding bicycle, having... I'm not even drinking and I dropped it. People over here are riding bicycle, being healthy, and then there's me. Ooh, that smells lovely. Good job, Sverka. Oh, yeah. Since last time I was told that my, my glass didn't have enough, that I can't even show you without, oh, without spilling. Cheers. Oh, that was pleasant. That was pleasant. Wow. Give me a second for that one. That was vodka. That was vodka. Oh. You know, that tasted like a blueberry Skittle. It was very enjoyable but it could have really used some ice um, and some Sprite in it or something because, oof. God, I'm just not a fan of vodka. So Svetka, it's nothing against you, honestly. I will drink it just to drink it, but it tasted good. It tasted good. It's just vodka, it does something to me. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, story number one. I was at work one day and I was feeling fine, whatever, and then I was like, ooh, you know when your stomach like stops and you're like, I gotta go to the bathroom? So when I realized that I was about to die, I was running to the bathroom and my boss was going to go to the bathroom at the same time. And since he was a gentleman, he was like, Andrea, go ahead, go before me. And I was like, no, no, really, you should go. And then it was the tip for tat of like, who's gonna go to the bathroom first? And I was like, now you wanna be a gentleman right now? So I had to go to the bathroom first, had to go to the bathroom first. Needless to say, I died in the bathroom. I exploded, diarrhea, it was a hot mess and you know when you're trying to go to the bathroom quickly because somebody else is waiting for you you're trying to courtesy flush you're trying to do the whole thing and then I'm like wiping and wiping and wiping and it just was not going away when I tell you I know I shouldn't be sharing this with maybe thousands or millions of people but I'm gonna share it with you guys anyway so I'm wiping and wiping and wiping not going away and he's like <laughs> I can hear him talking like yeah yeah she's been in here for like five minutes already like come on girl I gotta pee and he's super cool boss but had no idea I was fucking dying in the bathroom wiping my ass and I ran out I ran out of options I was like Andrea the faucet is too far and if you walk you might shit on the floor so what is your other option hand sanitizer I grabbed some hand sanitizer put it on some toilet paper when like on the toilet paper and I was like you know disinfectant it's gonna get rid of it liquid when I tell you that I put that shit on my ass and I've never felt my booty my booty and my booty hole and everything in that area burn in the way that it did I don't know if it was the combination of hand sanitizer and diarrhea, that combo mixing in my butt area. But when I tell you that I had to like literally like lean over and like fan my ass. <laughs> I had to fan my ass because I couldn't get up. And he was still outside of the stall like, uh, you know girl, gotta go back to your shift. And I was like, I'm not coming out of here, I'm dying. And that's what happened, that's what happened. And then I got to the bathroom, obviously he must have realized that I was dying in there because when he came in, he didn't say anything to me, but it's just, you know, you know. You died, you left your soul in the toilet and then I couldn't even walk. I was, I remember putting on my pants trying to walk and when you know your leg and your butt cheeks go like this, my ass was like, I swear my ass was raw for like three, four days. It was, it was awful. So needless to say, never in your life use hand sanitizer to wipe your ass. Next story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't want to take shot number two. No, no, no. Guys, shot number two. Shot number two. Oh. 
Oh, and I did a big shot the first time. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. And you can't, can you see it? The sun's going down, but it's there. Ooh. Anyway, I'm taking shots with a young teenager right here. This guy is like fishing. I don't know. He's fishing right there and he's listening to me talk about how I burn my ass with hand sanitizer. <laughs> Wonderful. Tidal wave. Tastes really good. <sighs> Tastes really good. Um, okay, <laughs> next. I took the second shot, right? Yeah. Ooh. I turned off the camera for like two minutes just to let the liquor sit. You know, you gotta, gotta give it some time to hit your system. And I feel good, I feel good. So let's go into story number two. I don't know what I just said. So story number two, where was I when Corona hit? I was actually in Argentina. I had gone to Argentina for a wedding and I was there, we were having a good time. We had literally been there for like a day. And then the next day we woke up and there was like news all over the place saying anybody outside of the, anybody from outside of the country had to be quarantined. And we were like, we're from outside of the country. We just flew in, there was no problem. We came in with masks, is everything okay? we had to be quarantined and i was like oh fuck no i'm not from here i am from the us of a my ass needs to go back home because if i get quarantined in argentina for two to three months I, I, what am i gonna do no money no nothing like no nothing literally like i packed five underwears and like three outfits and a very fancy dress for a wedding like i can't be quarantined for three months so anyway we had this whole discussion. The wedding got canceled. The wedding got canceled. It was a mess. We were stressed. Everybody was drinking at the dinner table. And then literally at a dinner table at my fiance's uncle's house, we ran and got our tickets home the next day. So literally we did an eight and a half hour flight to Argentina, hung out for a day, got drunk, had some fun. And then the day after we were booking our flights back home because Rona Rona had hit and then we came home and chaos had hit. There was no food at the grocery store. We were on vacation. So luckily we had toilet paper. Luckily didn't have to wipe our ass with a, a freaking towel, but it was a mess. There was no food, no nothing. We came back and it was a mess. So that is where I was during Corona or the beginning of Corona because <laughs> I've been here for the rest of it best for last you want to find out about how i shit my pants <laughs> cheers to you it's a good story but before that we gotta pop some bubbly bubbly i don't know if i've taken shot three I should do this because you guys are seeing different shot glasses. Shot glass is from New York City. Fun fact, I had gone to New York for the very first time and loved it, took tons of pictures, but my phone got stolen shortly after that trip, so I have no recollection. Recollect. Re recollection. Recognition? Recollection, no? I don't fucking know. I don't remember. I don't, I don't have the pictures. I don't have proof is what I was trying to say. All right, let's get into the third one. Third shot of vodka. Third shot of vodka. Wow. It's always the third story that gets the best. For those of you who have stuck around at this point of my um, rambling, as my mother calls it, um, I appreciate you because you guys are the real MVPs and you guys already know that the best story is always the third story. And yeah. Oh, you saw how much liquid went into that. Oh. Cheers. Oh, I spilled it on my foot like an amateur. It was the first spill of three shots at three stories and my foot is wet. I lost the bottle cap, hold on. Can't spill the rest of it. I'm not gonna waste alcohol, shit. All right, now that the alcohol is closed. That was even worse, that was even worse. I was gonna sip on it. I was gonna sip on it while I told the third story. Oh, cheers. I regret that. I don't regret many things in my life. I don't. Oh. 
people do this when you're younger, when you're my age. That hit my body. She's still with it. She's still with me. I'm a little apprehensive. I'm a little apprehensive about telling this next story because it has to do with me almost shitting my pants in public. And you know, I'm gonna put this on the internet, so guess what's happening in this episode? We're taking a fourth shot. Did I just make that noise? I'm gonna have to replay it. I'm gonna take like a mini shot. Hold on. That happened, and I should have known that that was gonna happen. There you go. You want to zoom in? You want to zoom in? There's nothing your girl hates more than wasting alcohol. I mean, I hate a lot of things, but alcohol waste. I just threw away alcohol. Uh, what did I just do? Ooh. So, story number three. Did I talk about the, do you? <gasps> I just realized that you guys can see how ratchet as fuck I am on the number two episode of Three Shots and Three Stories. Savage. Savage. I cannot be on camera like... <gasps> I cannot be on camera like this. Hold on. Dang. Oh, you can see it. All right, let's get into the third story. There's no avoiding the fact that my titty is wet. Um, that sounds so inappropriate that now that it just came out of my mouth, I'm like, Andrea, don't say that on the internet. <gasps> I'm probably gonna put it up on the internet. Anyway, anyway, okay. So let's go through this one. So we had gone to the wharf in downtown Miami. We were having a good old time. We're drinking, having a good time, eating tacos, eating loaded fries with bacon and all this stuff, cheese, shredded beef. It was a mess. I mean, the food is delicious, but shit. My system was like, what the fuck are you doing to me? Alcohol and loaded cheese and fries and beef. It was a mess. And then I added mojo donuts. If you've gone to the wharf, you know that they have delicious donuts with like bacon and all this stuff and it's amazing so so i'm eating 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 and then my best friend and i were going to meet up with my boyfriend who is now my fiance and we're going to meet up and whatever we got in an uber right this is where it gets interesting we get in an uber and i'm like and this is really cool like guy and whatever he's playing music and we're like Haha, just drunk 20 20 year olds in the back of a car la, la, la. until the shit hit me literally and i was like oh. and i told my best friend we're in the back seat of this uber and i'm like I, I literally looked at her and i was like mi amiga i'm gonna shit my pants and she was like bitch you know she was feeling good too and i was like no bitch i'm gonna shit my pants it was bad 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 and i literally told the uber driver i was like uh you need to pull over he's like nah girl i'm in the middle of the street and i was like nah man i'm gonna shit my pants in your car and he was like when i tell you that this man pulled over so quickly it was like a he stopped the car and i looked at my best friend and i'm like bitch i'm not playing I'm gonna shit my pants. I'm gonna shit my pants right here. So whatever, he was like, okay girls, we're gonna leave you right here. And I'm like, leave me right here. We get out of the car and she's like, bitch, are you playing? And I literally, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it out for you, ready? This guy, this guy's still fishing. He's not ready for what he's about to see, ready? He's watching me. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, we get out of the car and I literally got out of the car like this. holding my ass because my butt cheeks were about to just and just explode and literally my friend was like dude come here come here there's an ice cream shop and I was walking to the ice cream shop like this I'm not kidding you I was like I was like this and every every step that I took I was like mi amiga me voy a hacer caca encima which means I'm gonna shit my pants and she's like my friend continue continue and I was like I can't I can't I'm gonna shit my pants and I walk like this <laughs> let me tell you the amount of baby steps that I took to get to this ice cream shop and then guess what happened 
holding my ass, right? We're walking and we're getting to this freaking ice cream shop. I go in and I'm holding my ass and I'm like, can I use your bathroom? And he knows that I'm about to like explode. He knows that I'm going to like all over the place. And he's like, um, you can go to the bathroom, but you first you have to buy something. And I looked at my best friend and I was like, buy the whole fucking store. I'm gonna shit my bath. And I ran for the bathroom. Y que pena. And you know what the worst part is? That I ran to the bathroom and this guy had, I guess like since people, it's next to a, a nightclub, they have like a lock on it and he can control the lock. So I was like, I looked back and I was like, I looked at my friend and I was like, Busta, buy whatever the fuck you have to buy. I'm gonna shit my pants. And she's like, don't worry. And the guy finally clicked me in because I was standing by the door like, come on, let me in, let me in. I'm gonna shit my pants. And the motherfucker wouldn't let me in until my friend bought something. But Bestie came through. I don't know what the fuck she bought. I don't know if she bought ice cream, water. I think she bought a water. And when I tell you that I left my soul in an ice cream shop in Wynwood, apparently I leave my soul in many places because I leave my soul in in my job. I leave my, my soul in the bathroom in public places. Like I leave my soul everywhere. So that's what happened. God, this is not gonna be beneficial when I um, become successful because you guys are gonna come back and be like Andrea Eater in the year 2020. You see her now, 10 years from now, she's so polished and look at her, you know, she's so successful. But have you seen her YouTube videos from 2020? Que pena, que pena. So guys, that is the episode. Um, I have recorded three shots and three stories. Holy Jesus, most of the people that follow me and most of the people that actually know me have no idea that this has actually happened to me. So I'm very intrigued um, to find their responses and to see like, oh my God, Andrea, did you actually post it on the internet? Yes, I did, I did, because you know what? For me, this is one life and you need to enjoy it and you need to just jump out of your comfort zone, not walk out of it or not step out of it. You need to jump out of your comfort zone and share your truth and just fucking live your life. So that's what I'm doing. If this video caused you anything or if you laughed, if you were like, oh my God, I can't wait till the next, whatever, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And like I said, every Friday, I don't know at what time yet because I'm still trying to figure out my life, but Fridays I will post three shots and three stories for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Oh, I should say, brought to you by Sv Svetka. Svetka. <sighs> okay. Oh shit, went straight to my head. There's always birds. Yeah, I got that. I'm enjoying life and then literally the day after we'll start again I forgot what I was gonna say okay we're all talking about the second video my jaw hurts must be from talking yeah can't explain this feeling I'm sweating must I wonder if that lizard is looking at me, like I'm looking at it. Maybe the bird is looking at me. I was gonna say something else, perfect. <laughs> there's a fly in my face, there's a fly in my eye. Oh, there's a fly and it looks so mystical. Spread some love and joy, so don't fuck with me. God, that sound is so aggressive. This is gonna be a messy episode and God bless myself for having to record this because my future self is gonna hate me. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyway, 